It involves an SEC team. Vanderbilt got a quality win earlier in the week. They now play host to Moorhead State. They're laying 12 and a half. The total is 134. Kyle Hunter has an official play. I have a feeling where we're headed here. Uh, but Kyle, make it official. What are you uh, What are you thinking about this one? You can usually where where I'm going, but uh, Vanderbilt with a bit of an issue on offense trying to replace Scottie Pippen Jr. I mean that's a pretty big uh, drop off there. They're 304th in average possession length so far this year. Definitely slowing the pace down. Doesn't really surprise me without Pippen. Um, Jordan Wright's a good player in general. Uh, Miles Stute, pretty good as well. I think those guys were kind of used to getting set up by Scottie Pippen. Um, now they got to create on their own. I think that's going to be difficult, especially against a good defense. Moorhead State certainly lost their star in Janai Broom, uh, who went to Auburn. Uh, but, you know, the Eagles are still a pretty good defensive team in my mind, and they're very good at forcing uh, the pace to be slow. I expect them to be able to do that again here. They're 307th in average possession length in the country. Uh, nothing here would suggest anything other than a slow-paced game. And Moorhead State will settle for a lot of threes. Um, Moorhead State, uh, not really a great shooting team, but they're not very good at getting inside the paint. They don't have much height. Uh, Vandy only allowed 30% from three-point range last year. Wouldn't be surprised to see a pretty ugly shooting night here from Moorhead State. And like I said, I think Vanderbilt's offensive efficiency will be lower this year without Pippen Jr. So I'm going to take the under in this one. Very interesting again uh, for Vandy playing there at Memorial Gym with the benches on the end. They suffered a, an opening season loss uh, to Memphis. Uh, but now they will take on Moorhead. Say they actually had a couple of losses uh, to begin the year Vanderbilt, but did uh, bounce back with a win over Temple at Temple, 89-87 to 87, earlier in the week. They're now back home with Moorhead State. Corby, any thoughts here on what Kyle yeah. is looking at here on this one? Yeah, I think Moorhead is a team that basically only plays to the idea of an under. They're a very slow-paced team that really relies on defense. Uh, that being said, also, as you bring up every time we've talked about Vanderbilt, their, their home court advantage, I think, is something that a lot of weight doesn't get put on. It is a completely different feel of a gym than any other gym in the nation. So I like the idea of playing unders in Vanderbilt basically any time um, they play a team as slow paced as Moorhead. So I agree with the side here. All right. So let's lock in officially for Kyle Hunter here that he likes – the under in this one, under 134 in the Vandy Moorhead State game coming for Friday. Again, a bevy of very interesting games that we will get to. Get questions ready in the live chat. Question and answer as you're watching us live in the 11 a.m. hour on Friday. We're here Monday through Friday.